Hello and welcome back to Forza. Today we'll be doing a live example of our premium uh, well, heavy weapon rush, specifically the laser rush. So to do this, we're going to be going with the, uh, well, the full kind of greedy-ish version. It's not the most greedy possible. We could go a little bit faster using the, uh, well, the sell your own base and sacrifice everything tactic of using the, uh, the I, I can't remember the name of the commander. It's the Russian one with all the money in it. Uh, that one. But today we're going to be doing a pretty just standard uh, laser rush. So to do that, we're going to be using only three mines for this. We're going to put down one mine and then a workshop and a one of these turbines. Now to show you the timings on such, I'm going to be pulling down the F8 menu. You'll notice the top left corner, we have a timer. It's currently at 50 seconds. It also shows the players in game. And at this point, we are going to wait and just build out a place to put our factory because the moment we're just going to be sitting here and waiting for our workshop to complete. Gonna check, check, take an eye out on our opponents here. See what they're doing. Looks like this guy really wants to be very stable with his base. So I expect a big base out of him. Probably won't be able to top of him pretty easy, any very quickly. And we're almost done here. So let's zoom back right up over here and prepare to place our factory. So we'll have a factory down at about 1 minute 15 seconds. And then we want to push down another mine. Now, at this point, we're waiting. Most of this waiting is going to be for our factory to be complete. And we want to make sure we have the perfect amount of resources by the time we get there. Now, at this point, there's a little bit of leeway here. So we're going to put a mine down first so it has its opportunity to go net positive. That means it's a, well, the amount of metal cost to place it will be refunded in terms of generation by the time this completes. And then we need a battery and a metal store. I like to not have my batteries near my core, so I'll put the metal store near the core and the battery back here. Next up, we're going to want to prepare locations for the laser. In fact, we're going to get two of them. So the first laser will go right here underneath the core. It's a very dangerous location, but I don't intend on them being alive for very long, so we'll deal with it. The second laser will be right up over here. Notice how I built this a little bit taller than two grid spaces. If I turn on the grid here, now you see how it's just about two and a half, so the laser can fit in there. Uh, next, I actually should have done this while talking instead of showing, is uh, put another turbine down. That way we have more energy, because lasers are kind of costly in terms of energy. We're going to want to build a place to prepare to defend our turbines. So in case we start getting shot at, at least our turbines, uh, we can quickly build a sandbag defense on them. And now we're just waiting. Just waiting for everything to, to complete. Uh, this will complete, and then we'll have a laser available to place fairly quickly after that. And that will be that. So now we just wait for the laser. First laser goes right here. Notice how it does really get rid of some of this defense around the core. And ta-da! Beautiful. And then next. Now, no, we could have not sold this, uh, placed this down and gotten this out a little bit faster. But, you know, yes, we don't want to be, especially in these 2v2s, we don't want to get too greedy with it. All right, next up is a fire beam. So let's go ahead and put this guy down right here. Notice I have this solid piece of wood. That way, if something happens, like I get sniped, I don't lose it. My teammate appears to be going for mortars. Um... Uh, Notice how he's starting the fire with incendiary mortars at about the same time as, well, this guy being a third of the way done. Uh, you don't want that to be the case if you're going with mortars. If you're going for a tier 1 weapon, you want to have them out before the opponent has an opportunity to place his heavy weapons. As otherwise, they're just going to place their heavy weapons and shoot you with them, and then you're going to have a bad time. So now we want, an addition, we want to put, turn this into a door and get turbines up top. Some of you may notice that our base is kind of wibbly wobbly at the moment, leaning around. I've purposefully not placed this here to cause it to lean backward. That way the base leans back. I go ahead and do this. And now we can stabilize it a bit. So my teammate is going for a pretty early game aggression, which is not bad. It's actually pretty good for me because that leaves me uh, free to rush these weapons. Fortunately, I will have them out extremely quick because we went for a fairly greedy rush. But let me go ahead and spend this time to prepare defenses for this and get set up. Now, I, I know I'm floating energy. This is fine. I don't mind this at all. Uh, energy is real cheap. It's metal you have to worry about floating. And I don't mind so much about not about having only 7,000, though. In this case, because I'm free to continue, I'm going to get another battery and one more turbine. Uh, usually, I'd have to spend this money on doing other things like defenses, but it appears the opponents are not very swift in 
retali retaliating, so I'm going to be a little bit greedy here and not focus too much on my own defense. I just kind of rely on my teammate. So now I have both of my weapons online. I'm just going to wait for that swarm missile to go and then target one of the bases. And this guy's going to target the top base. So what I want to do is hit it with fire beam. And the fire beam doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It does weaken everything. And then I want to hit that same weakened spot with the plasma laser and set it all the way through and collapse the opponent's base. Activate commander ability to regain energy lost and also everything else and capitalize on that to increase build speed. So I'm going to build another door while we have the increased build speed and another door right here and all the defenses in the world. Now at this point I'm just waiting. I don't want to fire the plasma beam or the uh, fire beam despite being it being ready. I want to wait and hold off until both of my weapons are online. That way I can fire both at the same time into the same place. All right, that's one shot, and then the second shot, let it burn for a second. Second shot, all the way through, and there is the collapse. That's two players down in under six minutes, and that is your laser rush. And we're off to round two, the same player is slightly different scenario, this time Tanya's mod is enabled, and uh, well that doesn't change us at all, we're going to be doing the same builds and uh, let's see if other players do things differently, and you'll get to see just how well this works even when Tanya's mod is enabled. I've already messed it up, I was immediately going for, well, the slightly less greedy version, so we'll go with the slightly less greedy version, now this is the more economic version with two mines and a turbine. You go mine, mine, turbine, and then tech. And uh, it comes out a bit slower, but you don't have to worry so much about later game because you always have, I mean, always have the resources to defend whatever it is. And just in case these guys are getting wise to the laser rush and try to come out with attacks early, then we will have the ability and quite a lot of leeway to play around with it. We can always just throw in more defenses. Now for this particular variant, we're going to be adding one of these here, and one of, I need to have these things already built out, and also a battery, because we have the uh, economy with putting the mines and the turbines down first, we'll have plenty of economy and opportunity to put it down now and still have the resources when this workshop completes in order to put down the factory. Funny how that works. This is usually why you want to go with economy first, because it just lets you get out more things faster. I'm going to go ahead and pull down the F8 menu, so you can see the time, we're at, a, we're at 1 minute and 30 seconds right now. The workshop is almost complete, and the factory will be going down. Notice that we placed the factory about, what is that, uh, 30 seconds ago on the more greedy rush? Which can be very, very significant when you're, you're getting out your weapons, you know, 30 seconds quicker. Let's go ahead and we don't have to focus so much on cutting costs because we have the extra economy so we can be very careful and uh, well, get everything all nicely set up. I'm going to want to set up here, get my second turbine going. Weapons are going to be going in the same locations. Let me go ahead and fortify this a little bit. Now we don't want to spend too much of our resources as well. We do have the extra resources. Uh, we don't have infinite resources, so I'm just going to have a little bit of defense, just the basic layout defenses, so that we can uh, react appropriately in case things kick off pretty quickly. I don't have to worry about restructuring things in the middle of combat. Uh, looks like they already have a door here. Uh, we might have some shenanigans out of them. You can see the mines sticking out the back, so this guy's not going for missiles. Uh, this guy doesn't have any background bracing, so we shouldn't have to worry about missiles out of him. And if there is any early game aggression coming out of them, it's not going to be too powerful. At this point I'm just going to preemptively place a door here just for one of our guns. And put down the rope to pull us back and a little bit of wood. Now I want to have about 1000 metal by the time this workshop completes so as long as I just get up to a thousand metal and then spend the rest of it so I'm not floating resources then we're good. We just kind of chill out here and just let the rest build up 
Let's go ahead and put down our first laser right here. And then save up for a second laser, a fire beam in particular, and put it right about here, right when it completes. Resources are available, let's go. There we go. And we have this set up. And now we move our way up to the turbines. Let's go ahead and turn this into a nice square shape. There we go. That should make it less wobbly. There we are. And now the rest of this base is just going to focus on structure and defenses. We wait. And we do have some energy shields coming out of them. So the natural progression out of this, assuming we've gone for workshop, is to use the swarm missiles. If we haven't gone workshop and instead went to the armory, it's another option that we can go for. We would use the EMP rockets to disable shields that they have. Fortunately, they don't appear to have a whole lot. So I think we will be okay. So now let us put down a swarm launcher. Uh, so we're not going to use it, at least at first. This is just a just a just in case we need it. And I'll put down another battery as well. Now at this point, because lasers have focused very much on energy, we need to be keeping track of our energy stores. Uh, 7,000 is more than enough. Uh, keep in mind that the fire beam and the plasma beam cost 6,500 total, at least in combination. And next up, put these down. It looks like my teammate has gone for, what is that? Oh, it's just a level three mortar, a standard upgraded mortar. Let's make sure to hotkey our dudes. Have a plasma beam and fire beam hotkeyed. I will need to get a sniper for this guy, so let me just get him down. And this is the this is the benefit of having the additional resources up at the beginning. We can we have all the well, additional resources to play with. Now my doors my weapons are not double doored at the moment, which is concerning. But if I were to double door them at this point, I wouldn't be able to fire them right off the bat. So now they're both ready. We fire here, and then try to hit the same spot with the plasma beam, and we go all the way through. Sniping the core. Let's go ahead and activate this. We can put down an upgrade center to start upgrading mats. Let's get our sniper. We need to elevate him a little bit. Ooh, that just sounds beautiful. Remember, we don't want to fire these. We don't want to fire this fire beam until the plasma beam is ready. Uh, we could fire it, but then we'd have to wait longer for the plasma beam for the cooldown to come off before we can sink it with the fire beam. All right, and then the same spot, and slice his base in two, and he's gone. Look at that! Still under six minutes. GG. Time's up, let's do this. So those last two matches were really short, so we're gonna do the same same thing again. Uh, this time it's against an opponent who hasn't noticed as the other guys left the lobby. Uh, it wasn't like Rage Crit or anything, they were having some connection issues. Turns out combat against people on the other side of the world can be a little bit uh, difficult to deal with, but it's it's fine. And we'll see how this new, new target reacts to this. So we've got this going, fine, and now we just, just wait. Looks like he's got himself another early rush. Uh, I did this a little bit backwards. So I got a little carried away. Uh, it turns it happens to me a lot when I talk. Uh, I, I did the things in the wrong order. I'm supposed to build this first and then put this down, so I can't. So he doesn't do what I did to him and see the workshop here. Uh, he did place something here. Uh, looks like probably a machine gunner because there's really nothing he can put there. He can't put a sniper there. So it does, doesn't fit. So let me just go ahead and expect possible mini guns out of him. Uh, he hasn't put down an upgrade center, as far as I could tell. I'm gonna keep, kind of keep my eyes glued on him. But mini guns could be concerning. Really, any kind of early game pressure out of the opponents is concerning. Uh, that's the counter to this. If someone's going for this laser rush, just shoot them. Like, like that's it. Just, just shoot them. It's, it solves your problems. Floating energy doesn't matter. We will be floating energy. We cannot stop that. And then the next mine goes down. Um, keeping my eyes glued on him because I'm not. Oh, F8, there you go. And still building up. 
Now he would workshop, so we could be getting swarms out of that. Which is a little bit concerning. Swarms counter this real hard, because they, they hit hard. And things that hit hard counter this hard. Funny how that works, isn't it? So we need to go ahead and put down our battery and storage. There's no strict timing on the battery and the storage. It's Alright, this guy's really starting to worry me. I'm gonna start trying to snipe him a little bit. Give him something to think about. And put this down. And then build a sniper on top. Just to just to give him something to do while we wait for my lasers to become available. Do this. Set this up. Set up turbine defenses. Sniper. Good. As if he's go if he's going pretty greedy too, then he doesn't have to have doors on these and he could just snipe anything he has in there. Uh, I know he had something right here, right above this. I saw that go down. Does he know that I know? And this gunner. Now keep in mind that I've spent some of my resources on this sniper because I'm worried. So I don't know what he's got in places, but he did put wood bracing in the back. Oh, there was something back there. I saw you for a second. And all this expenditure on additional wood means that I don't have, well, the resource to put down my laser as soon as it was ready. Because this was ready to go a few seconds ago, and it's going to delay me. Okay, so now this is down. Let's go ahead and put this here, put this here. And I'm just going to keep, just keep dinking away at him, just like so. Now, we do see he has a door there. I don't know what's behind it, but I'm sniping what sounds like a wind turbine, which will slow him down somewhat, as wind turbines are not cheap. All right, time to replace my fire beam. I'm gonna put this down as soon as I have the resources for it, so that's good. Let's put these down, like so. It's fine, I don't mind if he shoots this little bit. It makes no difference to me. Now, we stabilize this so we don't have any kind of lean. Close your door. Lose the gunner. Close the door or lose the gunner? You choose. Okay. You close the door. Now we want to get our gun up here. Yes, there are the swarms that we were talking about. Now he's going to aim those swarms up top because that's where the sniper is. So, so long as the sandbags are in the way, we'll be fine. I want to bring this out a little bit further back just for the stability. Now, keep in mind that these swarms are coming out after we've already placed our turbine, our, our heavy weapons. So we don't have to worry too much. All we have to do is survive and then make sure we have an amount of energy and we'll be good. So as long as we keep these turbines going, we will come out on top. Come on, come on. Okay, so now our weapons are almost ready. Fire beam and plasma beam on the hotkeys. Let's keep reinforcing this. Now I know my base is really leaning forward. I didn't spend like any resources on stabilizing this before adding the wooden armor. I don't mind. And I'm going to, my fire beam is ready, but I'm going to wait for the plasma beam to come available. That way I can hit at the same time. Uh, I have just getting enough energy for it and ready. And fire you. That will burn down whatever he has there and weaken everything, allowing the plasma beam to go straight through and cut. And that's that! Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see more episodes just like this, perhaps showing off a cannon or even another mortar rush, do let me know and I'll be happy to show you. But for now, we have another under five and a half minute victory this time, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!